Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to take a break from the SSTO building uh, videos and go for something roverish. I don't know, I feel rovery today. So rover, huh? Well, I see here. I had some old rover designs a long time ago. <sighs> Should be interesting since... The last time I made a, made a rover was back in, like, uh, forever. And now we have a bunch of new parts, so... Yeah. Let's do this. You know it would be kind of cool if they were... If, this, if the command seats were given, like, a silhouette of the Kerbal that was about to sit in them, so you can kind of gauge where everything is. I mean, that, that would be nice. Alright, so they'll have a nice little dashboard to drive the vehicle with. It's uh, more like a, a rover van. I think what I'll do is I'll have the power back here, all the power stuff, and uh, I'll have it enclosed. Oh yeah, I forgot we had these kind of wheels. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, wow, these are huge in comparison. No kidding. Can't wait to see these things get updated because I never understood why they're using like this weird inflated bag for a wheel that doesn't feel right. Never really did. Okay, I mean, this is kind of looking kind of interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks like some sort of burger box, but I mean, it's getting somewhere. There's something forming now. Something's, something's happening. I think, I think I'm gonna give this thing an actual door. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit for that to happen. I actually really like that. That's that's kind of cool. <laughs> Hide the hinge with the bumper. Okay. Hmm. A better bumper. Okay. <sighs> that works. I like it. Very, very nice. It sort of kind of reminds me of the Galileo shuttle from the old TOS Star Trek. Okay, so we actually need to add power to this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and take a note from Tesla's book and put all the batteries on the very bottom. Plenty of batteries for plenty of road time. I mean, that should be plenty of power right there, right? Uh, let's go ahead and protect that. I'm wondering if I can just replace these four with one big one. That would help bring down park count, but the problem is I've already aligned a lot of different structures with this already. <laughs> yeah, I think... I I think I'm gonna just skip that. <laughs> bad idea. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad. Maybe in the Mark II, but this is the Mark I, and therefore mistakes will be made. I can guarantee it. I wonder if we should have the batteries completely hidden, or have them showing a little bit. I wonder what would be cooler. Cool factor. Form follows function in, in any design, but the cool factor determines the last little bit. The batteries are showing through the floor, but it's workable. It's workable. I can live with that. They look like floor mats almost. Let me see what happens when I actually attempt to hide the batteries. Do I lose the cool factor? I don't think I do. It's, you can kind of still see them, but you know, they're kind of doing their own thing. Hmm. It really makes me wonder though. It, it looks it looks like it's getting too high up in the air. Like it's getting too top heavy. I'm not a big fan of top heavy vehicles. I like the I like the sports car feel. The low and wide. So this is kind of kind of hurting me a little bit just looking at it i don't know i just don't like the whole up in the air thing i, I like the low and wide feel so we're gonna have to do something about that that's driving me nuts there we go see if i can make something like this that would be so much better low and wide i mean if i if i had some if i had enough time i would really try to make it just mm, low and wide <laughs> All right, so we still got to figure out where to put the damn batteries on this thing. See, normally I'd go for something like this kind of a design, the batteries being in the back. But since we have the door opening in the back, that's not going to be an option. Okay, so that 
looks kind of hideous, but if I do it right and I'm able to cover them up, that could work. Looks like we have enough room to put in some more seats. Although you'd want some cargo space, right? Oh, woof. That's a, that's a hefty, that's a, that's hefty. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, I can, I can handle that. Well, well, well. Watch this thing explode on the highway as soon as I load it up. Okay, so um, time for a little bit of decorum. We're gonna need some computer screens and I'll give them both like buttons. All right, there we go. Something simple. Touchscreen television, some gauges and buttons and some readouts and stuff. Haven't really figured out what to call this just yet. We don't want to put an RTG on this thing because this isn't like the Martian, all right? Matt Damon is not going to put a nuclear decaying isotope next to him to keep him warm, okay? Not happening. That being said, the only other way or option would be solar. Solar or fuel? In which case, is there a way we can put gas on this thing? No, nah, it's already pretty, pretty cramped. It's already pretty well cramped and that is ginormous. If only we could put gas in this thing, that, that'd be nice. It doesn't have to be something that is always running, you know, in the background. It could be something that just turned on when it's parked to recharge it, you know, and if that's the case, we can just have one of these on here and be done with it. This is not an exploration vessel, it's just a small transport, so yeah, it might have some cargo in it for some short EVA stuff, but it's basically stays close to home. I think I can make that work. Have a little something right there. A little something something. Now communications. Ooh, nope. And too big. I mean, that could work. Yes, that could work. But it, it'd have to be something that's always constant and having a big giant antenna on top of the vehicle. But sort of, mm, suck. All right, so the Communitron 16S is identical to the Communitron 16. And the only difference I'm seeing is one's heavier and one is the ability of combining its strength with another antenna. And on top of that, it's combinable, meaning you can get more power out of it if you combine more. We're gonna go for this. All right, now let's get it some lights. Now, you know, I've always wanted to try one of the light strips for like some sort of interior thing. Ow. Doctor's office much? Good grief. This one's just bright no matter where or how far away. <laughs> or we're actually gonna use one of these as a type of sh shyster. That thing is huge. That thing is massive. There we go, spotlight. Oh. Never mind. Well, at least I can sort of use these for uh, the front. Hmm. I don't know. I, they don't. They don't. Mm. This doesn't strike me as a blinky lady kind of vehicle for now. Okay. Um. You know what? I'm running out of time, so let's go ahead and wrap this up real quick. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. So nice. Oh, that that look. That looks really good. That looks really amazingly good. Man, that looks good. I wish I had more time to work on it. Maybe in the next video. Uh, what are we going to call this thing? Like number four. <clears throat> Wait, what? Uh, control Z. Oh, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Control Z, mother. I don't believe this. What the hell happened? I know my mouse is on the real funky side because it's falling apart, but what the hell happened? Uh... Um... I know I've been saving it, which... I don't know how far back. Okay. Okay, holy crap. Thank goodness for my save finger. I... <laughs> I... I save religiously on this game, I swear to you. 
I say religiously. Yeah, I think I'll make five the red lights. Okay, so I've chosen a name. I think... I think I'm gonna go for a horse name. I know this sounds dumb, but bear with me. It's a brand new rover. We haven't even tested it yet. It's wild. It's free. So I'm gonna name it the Mustang class. Rover. Mustang. Oh yeah. You know, the red is actually working pretty well on the moon. I like the red. Okay, the red's working pretty well. Shoot, I would love to drive around right now, but I am really, and I mean really out of time. That is so beautiful. Oh, that is so nice. I love it. No, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ah, I forgot about that super fast open thing, huh? Hmm, I don't know how I'm gonna get them out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave seat. Oh, please don't die on me. What? Oh, no. Oh, crap. I think we're going to lose a kerbal. Oh, nope. His helmet saved him. Holy mackerel. All right. Uh, what? Why is he still acting like... Uh, that was weird. All right, everyone. Well, it's time for me to get to bed. Uh, long day tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I really have no idea what I'm going to make tomorrow, but we will see. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Like, share, subscribe.